it's a it's a very unusual thing to be told that you have cancer. It's probably the hardest thing to hear that your child has cancer. Mason, my son, was completely uh, positive and intuitively knew that he was going to be fine. You can say it all day long. You're going to come through this. You're going to be fine. You're going to get to the other side of this. But um, obviously, you don't know. When we did get to the Lance Armstrong Foundation, to the Ride for the Roses, I was jump-started by hearing stories of people that were in the throes of treatments and hearing about some of the projects that they were doing to raise awareness, raise funds. I felt like I needed to take my efforts of helping the community to a larger venue. I love music and I know that music is a perfect com communicator and there's not a more primitive form of that than drumming. And on the plane home from the Ride for the Roses in 06, Mason and Toby and I were talking about the deal and the deal is Drumstrong. Drumstrong is my idea to bring the local resources together to address cancer concerns, to raise awareness, raise funds. We're doing this by virtue of rhythm. We are registered with the Guinness World Records to hold the planet's longest continuous rhythm drumathon ever held. Well, Scott explained the concept to me about how we might engage the community in a way to lift all boats where people can come in a non-judgmental fashion and learn and come together in a way that is actually healing. Because even if people are well, there's this fear factor about cancer. And one of the ways to dispel fear is good information. You know, to bring that together to the fore of helping people heal in a way that they actually are participating while actually supporting the health and well-being of the community, very, very unique. Drumstrong is held in the pastures of Misty Meadows Farm, not four miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina, in Weddington, North Carolina. We drummed for 25 hours nonstop. People camped out, people came and went into the circle, they danced, they played, kids had a blast. It was very family oriented. We have world-class drum circle facilitators to keep people focused, keep people going, um, or let them go on their own. We set up full stage, light, sound, and invite local and celebrity artists to perform where anybody on stage is told they will be accompanied by the drummers in the fields. The concept is, is basic. Again, it, it's, a, it's a very simple idea to bring the resources together to address cancer concerns locally, have them available to, uh, to answer people's questions or concerns at the event by virtue of rhythm, having people participate at whatever level they feel capable or interested in and drumming to beat cancer. Five hours of drumming, I walked over and a young man, Matthew Reynolds, who at the time was 12 and not a week before had gotten his port taken out for his treatments, he looked at me and he broke the, the gaze with a wink and a smile, essentially telling me that what we were doing worked. One of the things that Drumstrong has spurred is a national interest in taking drums into pediatric clinics. 
I think that the concept of play therapy, whether it's for children or adults, is fabulous. You know, anything that can provide you with emotional outlet and a physical outlet and uh, uh, a focus away from your disease is healthy. When we bring drum strong drummers to the pediatric clinic, we find the children in a sterile, scary, strange and, and foreign environment. And when we invite them to drum with us, they are completely taken away. They are transformed. They forget about where they are and why they're there. They forget about their pain, hopefully. And imagine when this group of folks carrying drums and marimbas and all different kinds of things into a room, and all of a sudden the kids' eyes opening up and going, wow, you know, and it's almost like going back to fun again. And it's a very different form of distraction. And all of a sudden you've got all these different kids who, you know, the kids kind of know, but they don't really know. And, this one's got this IV and this one's got something else and things like that, but all of a sudden you bring them together and you're all drumming and that rhythm starts. And you've got these people who are smiling and just engaging and not asking anything of them, but just offering to them the opportunity to participate and play and see what happens. And all of a sudden these barriers disappear and all these kids are just together and all these people are just together and all these nurses and doctors who are standing on the side watching, it's all together. So these artificial divisions go away. I'm hoping that Drumstrong can raise enough funding to help on a national level. I've committed to the Lance Armstrong Foundation a percentage of all proceeds from Drumstrong. I'm also looking to put as much money into local initiatives as possible. Essentially, Drumstrong is a point entity that will allow these funds to be dispersed where they can be best utilized. You see what happened in, of all places, Charlotte, North Carolina. Imagine if this were happening on the mall in Washington, D.C. Imagine if this were happening in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. What if this were happening in South America? What if this were happening in Europe, in Russia, in China? Because this is not an American issue solely. It's a worldwide issue. And with so many things separating us today, what if drumming for a good cause could bring us together around the world? We drum to rekindle the fire of survivorship in you. We drum in honor of, or in memory of, or just out of the goodness of our hearts. We drum with hope of opening the eyes and hearts of more people to amplify efforts to find cures. We drum to respect and represent all the fighters and survivors who share this history. Be heard, drum long, drum strong.